Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your daily online businesses video. And in today's video, I want to talk about the 30 day challenge, how you can win at anything in life. Now, a lot of us have heard the 30 day challenge as it relates to fitness, right? So for example, we, we see things like the 30 day squatting challenge, push up challenge, uh, the 30 day running challenge, right? There are so many different health challenges what we don't actually realize is that this is a 30 day, uh, it's really more of a concept than it is an actual structure of how to go about doing things. And in this video, I want to kind of break it down a little bit further for you on how you can go about using this particular concept to win at anything that you want to in your life. Okay, so the very first thing is what is a 30 day challenge, right? For those of you who don't actually know out there, the idea behind the 30 day challenge is that you're able to use those 30 days to build a specific habit, yeah? So for example, the typical ones out there are like push-ups, right? If you wanna do 100 push-ups a day uh, for one day in 30 days, and you might start out with something like 15, and then you increase by five or 10 until you get to a point at the end of that 30 days, you're gonna be doing 100 push-ups per day. Now, I like the concepts, but there are a couple of adjustments that I've made to fit what it is that I do with my particular life and how I go about attacking things. So. How do you use it to actually win? How do you actually apply it? So first and foremost, I wanna break down what I call the super six. Uh, and then it really it's just a term that I made up to describe my six key tasks at any particular thing I wanna do in life. Now everybody knows who's follow me for any sort of time that I have four core things that I follow, right? And for every one of those core things, I have a super six, basically things that I apply on a daily basis to achieve what my ultimate goal is for that particular area of my life. and. So what I have is, so for example, for you, uh, sorry, for me, for, for my business, right? I'll just, uh, I'll bring up my list here because I don't wanna, I don't wanna screw anything up, honestly. Um, so for example, my super six for business is studying on a daily basis, my social strategies, syndicating my content, uh, emailing my list daily, Facebook lives, and my morning and evening routines. So those are my super six for my business. Now, if you may be thinking at just at the end there, what does your morning and evening routine have to do with your business, number one, it's more of a mindset thing, but number two, everything, okay? And I won't talk about it on this video, I'll talk about that on another video and another blog post um, <clears throat> in more detail later on. But the idea is this, those six things, I know if I do those six things on, on a daily basis, I'm on my way to hitting my six-figure year, you know what I mean? More importantly, my multiple six-figure years in the next uh, tw in the next two years, right? Which is my big goal, 250K by the end of 2018, which I know I'm gonna hit, Right, I just need to stick to those six key tasks on a daily basis, right, to get to that actual point. More importantly, I will add, I'll obviously add, you know, seven or eight or nine on any particular day moving forward, depending on what kind of time that I have. But those super six are the core tasks that I need to do in order to achieve my top four things that I really, really focus on, right? So that's how it applies to business. But did you know that you can apply this to anything you want in life? You can apply those super six to whatever it is you want. I'll give you an example. I'll bring up my list for what I do in terms of my health. So an 18 hour fast, a smoothie, a shake, three and a half liters of water, six hours plus sleep of quality sleep, and gym or basketball six times per week. Now, that might seem like a lot, but those are my six daily tasks. I know if I stick to those six tasks that I'll be able to achieve my, my ultimate uh, health and fitness goals, uh, which is by the end of the year to be 89 kilos and 10% body fat, essentially going back to my competitive days where I played rep basketball, right? And so I want to get back to that point. I want to be fitter and healthier, but before I, uh, before I turned 33 than I was when I was 20 competing at a very, very high level. So this is my point, guys. I'm, I'm not saying this shit to try and impress you on how much I do on a daily basis. My point is this. The 30-day challenge concept is really just a concept, and you can literally use it to apply it to anything you want to achieve in your life. Now, now that you, you understand what a 30-day challenge is, you understand uh, the super six, and you really need to figure out what those super sixes are for you, I'm gonna break it down how you how you achieve that in 30, applying, sorry, the super six to your 30-day uh, challenge, breaking it down in increments, right? So phase one is a 10, it's, it's a 10 day, uh, three different phase that you wanna build up to because 
most of us, and I mean like 99% of us, right, other, there's a 1% like super achievers that are able to apply six things immediately and just fucking smash it out of the, out of the park, right? But the, but the, uh, the simple fact is that 99% of us aren't really at that level. We don't have the willpower. Maybe we don't have the discipline. Fuck, maybe we don't even have the knowledge or the time or the understanding of what it is that we do. So you want to break it down into three different phases. Now, there's a common misconception out there that it takes 21 days to turn anything into a habit. This is not true. Uh, with scientific studies being put behind it, it's more around about the 60-day mark. So, but it really, it really ultimately depends on how difficult the the task is that you're trying to apply, right? And how long it's going, and the uh, the core that you've actually, so the thing that you've already got in place to try and to that you're trying to replace. So, for example, like eating snacks on a daily basis, right? That might seem like a relatively easy thing, but let's face it: if you've been doing it for 30 years, it's not an easy thing to overcome. Right, so it might take you like 60 days, it might take you 90 days. My mindset is this, I'm going to set out at any particular task to overcome it in one year. I know that seems like a long time, but my mind, but what I'm preparing myself for is that, fuck it, if it takes 30 days, if it takes 365 days, I will beat this, I will win, I will overcome it, and I will achieve my goal. So hey, if it only takes 60 days, and your, your mindset is set for a year, you're fucking dominating, right? And it's easy at that particular point. It's really kind of just embracing yourself. It's a mindset that I adapted from the, uh, the Navy SEALs, which is uh, embrace the suck, which means you know it's going to suck, right? And you just, you just embrace it for what it is, and you take on the challenge. Okay, so getting back to the 10 for 10 for 10. 10, phase one, the 10 days, right? The first 10 days is really going to suck. So what you want to do is you want to pick three of your super six that is the easiest for you to apply. For example, if it is easiest for you to drink three liters of water a day, put that in. If it's easiest for you to go for a walk for three kilometers a day, put that in. You want to pick your three easiest things for the first 10 days. Why? Because the first 10 days are going to suck, right? And the idea here is to set yourself up for success, not failure. So you want to put in the first three things to build your momentum to build your uh, your discipline, your willpower, and your confidence, right? And after that first 10 days, when it really sucks, you move on to the next 10 days. And the next 10 days is where it gets a little bit easier, but it's not quite habitual yet, right? It's not quite in the routine per se. So in this, in this next 10 days, you want to apply the next two easiest uh, Super 6 that you've got, right? So you're now doing five things on a daily basis to achieving your goal right and so and remember the idea the, the real goal is to get to the end of those 30 days and those super six be so ingrained in what it is you do on a daily basis you know if you stick to them it's just a matter of time before you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve okay so then the final phase is the obvious run right the last phase is when you're really rolling you've got a lot of confidence you know exactly what it is that you need to do you've really got three of them completely in the books because at this point you've already done them for 20 days you've got the next two on their way there and now you're going to focus on the last one the most difficult one of your super six is the one you're going to bang in there for the last 10 day phase right so now you're doing 30 days. at the end of those 30 days you've taken on your most difficult challenge for 10 days right you've taken on the next two for another 10 day phase and you've taken on uh, sorry for 20 days and then you've taken on three of them right for a full 30 days at the end of those 30 days you're smashing it whatever it is that you're trying to achieve you can apply this 30 day challenge the super six and the 10 day uh phase one two and three formula to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve i've used this myself to uh to really ingrain my business uh, my business habits rituals and routines I've used it to ingrain my mindset, my morning and evening rituals, which trust me, as motivated as I am to do them as much as I love them, they're not, they weren't easy for me to incorporate in my everyday life until I applied this particular principle, right? So you can use the 30-day challenge, right? I'm going to put in a blog post, uh, the latest blog post that I've done down here so that you can click on it <clears throat> and go and read the full t details of how I've applied it to my health, how I've applied it to my business, how I've applied it to my morning rituals, right? Uh, yes, and I've used this actually with my kids as well, where I've gone to a point where I'm doing Super 6 on a daily basis, including the weekends, right, to really achieve everything that I want to achieve for me and my family, all right? So look, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any sort of value from it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I bring you daily business videos like this to really help you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life, all right? So take care, much love. I'll see you all again tomorrow in our online business tips.